Hi everyone, this is Sureka. Welcome to the channel eQuest. And now, part 6 in percentages. This is very very important concept and very interesting topic. Okay, see here, forward percentage is not equal to backward percentage. Let me explain one example. In a village, the room rent, a single room rent is 1000 rupees. Very cheap, 1000 rupees. Okay. But the owner of that room increased the rent by 100 rupees to the tenant. Okay, 100 rupees. Initially, what is the rent? 1000. But increased by 100 rupees. That means 1000 plus 100. Now, the rent is 1100. Okay. What is the percentage increase? Calculate. Percentage increase means here increase by initial value to 100. Increased value is 100 by initial value is 1000 into 100. 100, 0, 0 cancel and here this 0 and this 0 cancel. Now here percentage is 10% increase. Okay, 10% increase. After few months, uh, the owner decreased uh, rent by 100 rupees because of uh, corona effect. Okay. Now, from 1100 to uh, rent is uh, changed to 1000. From 1100 to 1000. What is the percentage decrease? Definitely here there is a decrease. So, what is the percentage decrease? Is it 10%? Uh, so many students think that 10% uh, increase, so 10% uh, decrease. That is wrong. Uh, see here, uh, 1100 is initial value, that means a base value. Decreased, after decreased, what is the value? 1000. Now calculate the percentage uh, increased or decreased. Here, difference is 100 by Take initial value that is not 1000 here, 1100. So, 1100 into 100, 0, 0, 0, 0 cancelled. So, 1 by 11 into 100. What is the percentage value of 1 by 11? 9.09 percent or 9 1 by 11 percentage. Okay, 9.09 percent decrease. Okay, uh, remember that forward percentage is not equal to backward percentage. Let me explain one more example. Suppose your pocket money is 500 rupees. Okay. You got a good marks. That's why your father increased your pocket money by 100 rupees. So what is the new pocket money? 600. What is the percentage increase in value? Here, increase is 100 by initial value is 500 into 100. 1 by 5 into 100. That means, uh, what is the percentage? 20%. Okay, 20% increase. After some days, your father a decrease 100 rupees. That means from 600 to 500. Then what is the percentage change? 600 to 500 means here difference is 100 but initial value is 600 into 100. Then 0000, 0, 0, 0 cancelled 1 by 6 into 100. Then what is the percentage? 16, 2 by 3 percentage. Okay. Or 16.66 percentage. 16, 2 by 3 percentage decreases. See here, here 20% increase and here 16, 2 by 3 percentage decreases. Percentages are not same. 
That's why here forward percentage is not equal to backward percentage. Now let us move to the examples. Okay. See the question. If P gets 25% more than Q, then by what percent does Q get less than P? Okay. See the question. If P gets 25% more than Q, here P and here Q. P gets 25% more than Q. That's why I want to fix the value of Q that is 100. In percentages, 100 and 100% plays a very major role. Okay. Here Q value is 100. And P gets 25% more than 100 means what is the value of 25%? 25. More than this. That means 100 plus 25. What is the value of P? 125. Now the question is, what percent does Q get less than P? Does Q get less than P? Less than P. After less than what is the number? Or what is the a letter? P. Okay. Now find out what is the difference? 25. Less than P means after less than there is a P. That's why I write this number in denominator. So here 125 into 100. 25. 5 times cancelled in 125. So 1 by 5 into 100. What is the result? 20 percentage. Q gets a 20 percent less than P. This is a normal method. Now I want to do a very interesting method. Okay. P gets how much percentage more than Q? 25%. What is the fraction value of 25%? 1 by 4. Okay. Here 25% more than. That means uh, increases. What is the fraction value? 1 by 4. More than means up arrow. Uh, now, see here. Uh, write a numerator as it is. Here 1 and here also 1. By denominator. Add these two. That means add denominator and a numerator. 4 plus 1. Because here there is up arrow increases. That's why I use it plus here. I use it addition. 4 plus 1. Then I reverse this sign. Here increases. Here decreases. That means here more than Q but here less than P. Okay. See 1 by 4 plus 1. That means 1 by 5 decreases. 1 by 5 is a fraction value. What is the corresponding percentage value? 20%. So here 20% decreases. That means Q is 20% less than P. Okay. Here find out the fraction first. But suppose fraction is x by y more than or increases. Okay. x by y. Then here formula is x by y plus x decreases. x by y plus x decreases. Okay. Symbol is a reversal. But suppose here x by y decreases. Then write numerator as it is. Then here a symbol is uh, decreases. That means y minus uh, x. Sorry, here after applying this formula, a uh, reverse to the sign that means increases. x by y minus x uh, increases. Why here um, uh, sign is a minus? x by y is decreases. That's why here I use minus sign. Okay. Let us move to the next example. If the price of an article went up by 20%. Okay. Price of an article went up by 20%. That means 20% apparel. What is the fraction value of 20%? 1 by 5. You should remember fraction values and corresponding percentages values. Okay. If you want uh, that video... Please check at description. 1 by 5 increases. 
If the price of an article went up by 20%, then by what percent should it be brought down to bring it back to its original price? Okay. 1 by 5 increases means 1 by 5 plus 1 decreases. That means 1 by 6 decreases. What is the result? 16. 2 by 3 percentage decreases. Okay, very simple. Clear? Symbol is increases. That's why I use a plus. The numerator is same. But here denominator, add numerator and denominator. Okay, next question. If the price of sugar rises by 10%, by what percentage should a housewife reduce her consumption in order to spend the same amount as previously? Okay. Price of the sugar rises by 10%. First, suppose initially price of the sugar is 100 rupees but increased by 10%. 10% increases. What is the 10% of 100? That is 10. Increases means add 10 to this 100. Now new value is 110. Okay. In the question, a housewife reduce her consumption in order to spend the same amount. The same amount means same 100 rupees. But here 110 and here 100. What is the percentage decrease? Find out. What is the difference? 10 by initial value is 110 into 100. Okay, 0, 0 cancelled. That means 1 by 11 into 100. 1 by 11 corresponding percentage value is 9.09 or 9, 1 by 11. Okay, this is one method. Without using this method, Already discussed in previous two questions. How much percentage increases? 10 percentage increases. Okay. 10 percent increases means what is the fraction value? 1 by 10 increases. And that implies here 1 by 10 increases means 1 by 10 plus 1 decreases. That equal to 1 by 11 decreases. Okay, 1 by 11 means the corresponding percentage value is 9.09 percentage. If you compare these two, which is easy, this is very easy. Okay, do practice different types of questions by using this concept. Okay, next one. If X salary is 25% higher than that of Y salary. How much percent Y salary lower than X salary? Okay. How much percentage? 25%. 25% higher than Y. That means symbol is up arrow. So 1 by 4 increases. That means how much decreases? 1 by 5 decreases. What is the percentage value? 20% decreases. Okay, very simple. Next one, if the income of Ram is 12 1 by 2 percent more than that of Shyam, the income of Shyam is less than that of Ram by 12 1 by 5, sorry, 12 1 by 2 percent, 12 1 by 2 percent more. What is the fraction value for 12 1 by 2? That means here 12.5%. Okay. 12.5% fraction value is 1 by 8. 1 by 8 increases. Then 1 by 9 decreases. Then 1 by 9 means 11.11% decreases or 11 1 by 9% decreases. Okay. Next one. These two questions are for you. Okay, do practice and write your answers in comment section. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.